Hello everyone, welcome to my Fusion Flavours. Um, today I'm going to do for you a favourite recipe of mine. Um, but first of all, before I get into it, I have to say thank you very much for everyone, from everyone for their positive feedback. Okay, so today I'm going to do for you saltfish fritters. Okay, so here's the recipe now for my saltfish fritters. I have onions, thyme, all-purpose seasoning, everyday seasoning, some curry, flour, some water, the salt fish, which I've soaked overnight until it you no know, um, taste with not too much salt in it till it has you know till the salt has been soaked out of it and I think I've told you before in my other videos how to get rid of the salt okay then I have my oil rapeseed oil and which is already heated okay so you need to pour in quite a bit because if not it's not going to give you that um, crispy texture that you need okay so all of the ingredients will be in the comment section okay all the recipe so I'm adding my flour And all the ingredients okay the salt fish look at the salt fish it's shredded into very tiny pieces probably continue just to shred it a little bit so you won't get big chunks of it in the food it really doesn't matter if you have big chunks, but it's nice to just taste the salt fish all through, really. Yeah? Okay, so in the meantime, my pot is on. That's the heat, about the amount of heat that you need. But I'd have to turn it up a little bit more so it gets nice and crispy. So the oil... Is getting hot in the meantime okay sorry so this is the amount of salt fish all right and I'm going to put some ketchup in it Okay, All right, so there we are. Just run it out a little bit. So there it is, I've measured my water beforehand, okay? So just mix it in slowly so you can get a feel of the texture. Oh no, there's a bone there. So you have to be careful of the bone in the salt fish, I have to say. So you don't want to get it too kind of runny because if not it will absorb more of the oil. But you want to get a little bit more water than this okay just trying to get it all together and ensure that you mix it out very well you don't want to taste lumps of seasoning in it
So because I want to give you the recipe, I have to make sure about the amount of water that I'm putting in it really. Um, it's about another hundred. I'll get a wooden spoon. So you're mixing it. Yeah. Still a bit tight. I think we're getting to the mixture now. The feel of the mixture. Not too runny, not too tight. Okay, so now I'll get a teaspoon. So you can try to see if um, the oil is hot enough by just getting a little bit of the mixture and just dropping it. And if it just fries up like that, then you know that it's, it's good, you're good to go. Okay. All right. So just drop like tablespoons of the mixture in, okay? Oh, there's something I forgot. Because some people might like it to be hot, hot pepper. So I forgot to put the hot pepper in. So I'll just get some hot pepper, okay? I'm going to use lots of hot pepper because this person that I'm doing this fritters for, he likes it's really peppery okay so I'll just use some some hot sauce so I mix this together whenever I do it for him he always say to me oh, I haven't got enough pepper in again just the same mix well because you don't want it to taste just certain areas of pepper, yeah? Right, so here we go again now. So drop your spoonful in. Notice these ones, the first ones I put in because they're almost ready to turn soon. Just don't put too much in the pot, okay? because then it won't have room to to fry properly and therefore you won't get that crispy texture that you're looking for okay so you got to leave that on until the top start to get a bit porous you can watch it frying away Bit more. So I'm about to check the first ones to see if it's um, started getting crispy. And oh yeah, it has. Yeah, look. So what I do is I kind of press them down because I don't really want that oil, too much of that oil. So the way you can tell is when, as I said, when it starts to get quite porous, when the dough here starts to get porous. Well, that hasn't happened to the others yet, so... It's not the most healthy meal, but it is delicious, you know. Now and again, you can treat yourself. So you've got to gauge it. If it's too slow, you turn it up. If it's, you know, cooking too slowly. So press them down a little bit, then it will get rid of some of the oil. Check 
second then in. Right. So the first one needs to come out. So here you are. This is the first one of my fritters. So you just check them every time. That one still needs doing a little bit more. You want the crispiness, yeah? So you don't want to take them out. And as I take them out, I press them. I'll show you. I press them so that I can still get rid of some of the oil. I press them like this. Yeah? There you are. That's when you don't want to have them burnt. salt fish fritters very nice for when you're entertaining you know your friends are coming around and you know you just want them to have like a little nibble okay so I'm gonna try one now very nice Even if I say so myself. Well, as I say, if you're a pepper person, you can add the pepper, okay? Mm. 